Hi Canon Follow fans, it's Raz coming from Cardiff. Um, I want to give an update, but um, <laughs> that's the only thing that keeps me laughing. Oh my word, this team, this team. I, I, I Just when you think, you know, we've got them figured out, they, they do something rather extraordinary, which I shall re allude to, allude to. Um, when Alex run the titles. So Alex, run the titles please. Okay, so, positive, positives, get my teeth in, positives. Um, a nice little run um, against uh, Leeds. Then we had a couple of knocks, um, particularly against Wolves. Um, that was a really, really hard one to take, um, but you know, we, we, as always, we have to move on. And then um, I'm going to the Benfica first leg. The first leg, the game should be put to bed. Ifs, ands, buts, and maybes don't really count. You know, if I was leaner, if I was taller, if I was more handsome, all right, leave your comments up there. <laughs> um, yeah, Arsenal should put the game to bed. And I think Benfica are thinking, hang on now, this is the Arsenal and they haven't taken their chances. Benfica, let's face it, didn't have much of a clue until, unfortunately, Emma Smith Rowe um, put his hands up in a rather um, defensive manner because you know we're human, and the referee awarded a penalty. And I think sometimes with VAR and referees, common sense tends to go out the window. Okay, so that aside, the away leg now on Thursday. I've got a sneaky suspicion that Benfica will turn us over. I like to be optimistic and positive, but if you don't take your chances, and we've seen this with Arsenal so many times, it's tiresome. It's tiresome. Unless Mikel has some grand idea up his sleeve, we're not going to be seeing any Europa action until we have a decent squad team to challenge for the Premiership. So you heard, hear it here first, heard it here first. Um, and then the fiasco against Man City. We always seem to be shipping in goals within two minutes. I don't think for the last maybe five, six matches, we've gone the goal down standard time between two and three minutes. So the defence have to look at themselves. If you um, saw our chat on Sunday, Alex and I, um, I said, before anything, sort the defence out. You know, Osir Mawa maybe come in and all these, you know, shiny bell, new trinket, new players coming in. But as far as I'm concerned, the defence has been shocking at best, fortunate at worst. And it doesn't seem to be improving anytime soon. Teams are dropping points around us and we're not picking them up. And we're not finishing Uber. So, I'm keeping the video short because uh, we've got another video coming in. Um, we've got Benfica second leg. And I told you, I don't think we're going to get anything from that. We've got Leicester. And there's a small match against Man City. We didn't show up at Man City. What's the point going on about it? We've seen the patterns before. How could a uh, five foot six guy out jump a six foot three and a five ten or eleven defender? Maybe I should be playing in defence and get Alex to manage the team because this team is just not enough words can describe. I'm very annoyed with them, very angry. But we go on, we move on. I want to say Saka deserves a lot more than he's getting. Uber needs to pull his finger out. Mikel, 
this is you know your team to do something and time's running out like my time's running out um, I did say on Axe's um, channel, our channel earlier um, in the week, that uh, there's a 90 second video that will precede this video. Uh, if you're interested in this opportunity, um, call me, DM me. Um, if not, let's still remain friends. We're still Arsenal fans and we move on. So guys, stay safe, take care and I'll see you on the next video. we we'll see what happens next. This is Raz, and I'm out. This is Raz, coming from the Emirates in the press media section for Canon Fodder TV. Not breaking news, Emirates news.